Hey guys, welcome to newly branded Marketing Monday. It was Mastery Monday, but I thought, hey, this is a marketing channel. Why don't we talk about Monday or why don't we talk about marketing right away on Monday? So what I want to share this week is a new sort of split test that I just did and I think a lot of people could benefit from. And it is basically so what I was thinking right now I'm working with a lot of clients in uh, creating short videos that do really well, the Alex Hormozzi style. I think I've got that down so I can make them. I'll show you an example here in a second so you can see that I've been working on my captions. Maybe you saw some last week. And this is from an interview that I did with Dominic Kent, author of the author of the Autonomous Freelancer. So I'm going to be talking about this more from that one podcast for an hour. I've now gotten about 30 short form clips and I'm doing my best to learn and adapt this Hermosi style for my clients, for myself. What I was doing is I have it all broken up into clips in a program called Descript that I love. And then I was, whenever I had time to create this nicely polished captioned uh, video, then I would publish it. But I was watching a presentation from somebody that is really good at viral clips and stuff. And he said that if a clip works well, then you should republish it again. And I thought, that's interesting that he's saying that. What I thought was, while I'm waiting to have the time to polish up all these clips and uh, publish them, why don't I just publish the clip as it is with no music, no captions and just see how it does. And so that's what I did. I took all those 30, actually, I, I think I have about 50 clips from that one hour interview and I just took them. They, they are edited. I, I cut out the parts that I thought were interesting, but instead of waiting until they're all captioned and have music, I just published them and the results have been pretty awesome. So you can see here that over the last few days, I got all these bursts of traffic and that all came from me just publishing these plain clips with no captions or anything like that. And the cool thing is, and what I got from, his name is Ryan McGinn actually. And what I got from him was if you can publish clips multiple times, now I'm not saying go crazy, don't like keep republishing the same clip you know, too many times because I think that will eventually get flagged. That's why I wasn't uploading these. But then I thought, actually, if I upload the original one, I can see, I can test for all these different hooks and see which hook works the best. And I'm going to get some traffic, going to get some subscribers and grow my channel overall. Plus, I get to see which clips perform the best. Now, if I wanted to optimize, then I could start by just taking the ones that perform the best and then polish those up. But my actual plan is to eventually polish all of them. So this way, I'm going to get more mileage out of each clip. So I'm going to publish them as I go. And then eventually, I'm going to polish them up, add captions, etc. So I'm going to get two uses out of the same clip. And the really beautiful thing as far as leverage goes is... There are two, that, so that's two unique pieces of content on YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to get all that traffic and subscribers. But then I publish the exact same two to TikTok, then to uh, Facebook fan page to start to grow the podcast, and then publish them to even Pinterest. I could do each one because basically with the captions and the music and the graphics and stuff, I think it will be considered a unique piece of content. So I don't think the algorithms will flag them as duplicate content. This is just a way to get twice as much mileage out of your clips. And based on my experience so far, I don't think that it's going to be any sort of uh, liability. Just wanted to share those results. I was really happy with that. One, I get to upload the clips faster, which makes me feel more productive and excited to keep making more content because I get to see those results coming in. But then there's all these other like testing leverage things too, where I get to see which hooks work the best. So then I can maybe create more content about that or create more clip compilations about that topic or something like that. Maybe I can take all the highest viewed clips from Dominic and put them all into a compilation. Anyways, it's just a really cool thing to get twice as many, twice as much use out of the same clip. And I thought I would share that for this week's Marketing Monday tip is a short form video upload. 
hack to get more views. So thanks for watching and uh, check out the links in the description below for some great resources to help you with your marketing.